Hey guys, good morning. It's Joe. Doing another car video. Cheers. Hey, this time I actually flipped the camera upside down, so like the sensor's down here. So that way the fucking like rear view mirror's not blocking it. If I look like I'm about to go to a jog, I should be, but actually I'm about to go to work. And then I go to a pause house and net it, but uh the thing is this garage gets super fucking hot, so not only do I wear like uh sandals and also I wear shorts, I also like <laughs> I wear like workout shirts, you know, they're designed to like breathe and like you know. Get the damn sweat off you because the damn garage can get hot, right? Quick video from like, a, it's like a response video from yesterday. And uh, sure enough, I, there was a part of my video where I said that uh, it's kind of hard to like predict what the internet is going to do, how they're going to respond to your videos, right? And like, uh, you know, the video before that video, I basically made a video when I went to like the, an indoor swap meet and an outdoor swap meet, right? So, you know, it took a lot of footage. So, you know, it, it took more time to edit that video, right? The next video, which was my previous video, which was me and talking in the car, that one got more attention <laughs> or likes and views than my other video, which is the indoor swami one, right? Just, you know, it happens. So <laughs> I'm not bad about it. I'm not annoyed about it. And if anything, that's one thing uh, I guess I learned is that getting to having too much high expectations for a video, it's not a good idea. <laughs> You know, I've, uh, I'm sure you've seen YouTubers where they get mad, be like, damn it, I'm not going to make a video like this again. No, nobody watches it. You know, you know it's like, eh. you know, if you're going to make a video, it's because you like it and, you know, you want to. You know, you're going to have to have that attitude, you know, or else you can get easily disappointed because you're not getting the results that you want, right? But I got to thank my buddy Jeremy, you know, for uh, leaving a comment. I appreciate the kind words, my friend. Really do. Uh, <laughs> so a few things. Uh you kind of brought up the fact that I'm getting a lot of gray hairs. I look like a lot of gray. Yeah, I haven't shaved in that video, so I was very stubby. You know, fucking had a lot of gray hairs. And like, yeah, I do actually. If I can get it. Yeah, I'm getting gray. And if I, I just shaved this morning, or last night actually, because I took a shower. But yeah, if I have more of my fucking, my, my Hispanic beard, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I have like a lot of white hair scattered around here and there, right? But yeah, I am getting grays. Yeah, you can see that. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm proud of it. <laughs> Actually, you know, like, when I was, like, starting to get gray hairs, it was just such a common thing for your friends to make fun of you. Be like, oh, you old fart or this and that. And actually, you know what? Fuck it. I embrace it, you know? At least that's always been my perspective about aging, you know? Working in construction, I work for people that have a lot of money, right? And, like, or, or maybe, maybe high middle class people that they go through all kinds of weird surgeries and Botox and all this other shit. To like, you know, even you don't have to even work in that environment. You can just, like, see, like, certain celebrities. They fucking overdo it with the Botox and they look like shit, right? Like, the fat lips, the stupid ass. They look like they just swallowed the whole fucking beehive, you know? They just look bad. It's like, fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the way I see it, like, uh, I want to age with pride, you know? Fucking... You know, I embrace my white hairs, I embrace my wrinkles, I'm all good, you know, and uh, actually I got nothing again. <laughs> there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, right? You know, if, if you're fighting, all you're, gonna, you're just fighting a losing battle, right? I mean, you know, why deny the fact you're getting old? But uh, I guess the main reason why I wanted to make this video was uh, my buddy Jeremy, he kind of like pointed out something about like, oh, you've been mentioning about having a midlife crisis for a while and this and that, and like, you know, you're not doing anything for your mental health and all that shit. Well, first of all, thanks for, you know, watching my videos because, you know, usually personal topics like that, I kind of keep it in like the down low. I don't make it like too blatant with like with the click big titles or whatever, you know, like that's just me. I don't want to like, you know, I'm not using my, I don't want to use my uh, YouTube channel as affecting my therapy in any manner. I'm not going to be spewing all my personal drama, right? But in response to like uh, me, you know, dealing with uh, maybe some mental issues and all that shit, it's the same shit when I turned 20. It's the same shit when I turn 30, and it's the same shit now that I'm about to turn 40. And it's basically, I guess, certain things that I enjoyed, I'm not enjoying that much anymore. And because I'm not enjoying what I used to enjoy, I'm at a point where it's like, okay, what's next? I'm trying to figure out, okay, what is it that I want for my life starting now? That I'm about to like reach a new milestone in my life, which is 40 years old, right? And uh, I'm actually happy that I'm at, I'm at this point. I definitely want to be enjoying my life during my 40s, right? But the thing is that I, I guess I want to have a different experience in my 40s than I did in my 30s. You know, and that's the thing, you know. Um, I guess a good example was music. When I was a teenager, uh, I was really into like the whole punk rock scene, you know, in my local area. And I knew a lot about like the local bands. I knew about what the next show was going to happen. You know, I had a good network of punker friends, you know. 
We had a spot where we hang out to have beers before we start a show. We had to hang out after the show to hang out, have more beer, house parties, all this shit. And since I turned 20, like all that kind of like started to change for me. I didn't want that anymore. And that's when I decided to like, you know, start cutting off friends and stuff like that. I started to focus on other things, right? Got into my 30s, you know, obviously I focus on my new career, which is what I got now is editing. I'm doing that. Obviously I achieved my goal. Now I'm turning 40. I have my career. Now I'm like at a point where it's like, okay, it's not that I don't like my career. Don't get me wrong. I'm just like saying, okay, what's the next step? How can I elevate myself? How can I prove myself and all that stuff, right? And uh, that's, what's, that's what I'm going through right now. So it's not anything negative in any manner. It's just like, you know, you know, going back to my punk, my music uh, example, I was really into punk bands. I would like learn all their names of all the band members, the history, you know, stuff like that. However, fast forward now to 40, I really don't give a shit of any of that crap, right? Because uh, the way how I see it is that I want to focus, I want to be the hero of my own life. You know, I want to see what I can do in my own life now, you know. Um, I'm getting back into playing my guitar. I'm actually thinking of like uh, doing live streams. Um, if there's one thing I'm kind of good at is that I can follow a drum track pretty well playing guitar right on the spot. So I was thinking maybe uh, when I do some live streams, I can follow drum tracks and then real time I can like improvise and jam, you know. Uh, recently, Paul, he's going to help me out get like uh, the Elgato Stream Deck, right? So, you know, obviously I'm learning that. Uh, I'm trying to figure out ways to do like real-time VFX. And I'm actually looking into it using Elgato and OBS and other software, right? Because I want to do more real-time VFX to edit faster, you know, to add to my videos and to add to Paul's videos. So there's a lot of things I'm trying to like improve, you know, because like I said, I'm turning 40. I just want to take it up a notch again because I want my 40s to fucking kick ass, you know. There's like a certain lifestyle I would like to have. I mean, I dealt with what I had to deal with when I was in my teens, turned 20, I had to change my fucking, so I did what I had to do in my 20s, I turned 30, I wanted to change, you know, careers and all that, I did it, I'm turning 40, I was like, alright, now I'm gonna try to, like, you know, change up my social lifestyle and improve my career or improve my skills, you know, just, there's a lot. The fact that I'm making these videos and talking to a camera, I mean, that itself is a lot. You know, uh, I wasn't too comfortable doing this, but I'm mean, can see myself getting better and better by me making this video. So, you know, shit like that is what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm going through stuff, but it's not in a negative manner. I guess letting go of certain things I used to like during my 30s, I'm realizing now that I'm not enjoying as much in my 40s, or I'm about to be 40, right? And one of them is basically, uh, you know, I was really into, like, watching cover bands and all this shit, right? But when the pandemic happened... I stopped. Obviously, I wasn't going to shows and all that stuff, so I started focusing on other stuff, right? Like my finances, reading books, and I don't know what, you know, shit like that, right? Once everything started to open up again, I'm like, all right, let's go see some live music. I actually see myself not enjoying that that much anymore, <laughs> which kind of sucks, right? But again, it's uh, something I need, probably need to let go so I can focus on something else, right? You know, and it's something, like I said, it's not I'm doing it purposely. I'm just, I emotionally do not enjoy going to those environments that much anymore, right? I'm not, I'm not saying I won't go to see a live band, but I don't know, it's just during the pandemic, my priority shifted for something else. Like, for example, I learned understanding more about finances and, you know, learning to invest and all this stuff. I got into reading books, so my, pr my priorities became more of that. And I guess, like, uh, you know, the corniness of it, be like, oh, you're a guy that just wants to learn about finances versus, oh, you're a guy that likes to go to a bar and listen to live music, have a drink. You know, I guess that emotional thing that you're kind of trying to fight was like, cool Joe that likes to go to bars and listen to music and have a beer versus lame guy that wants to like sit around, read books and learn about finances and invest for his future. You know, it's like, eh, I got to focus more on this guy now. The Joe that wants to like uh, focus on his finances, read more books, you know, get his life more in order, you know, improve his skills and so on and so forth. Right? I got to let go of this guy more and more. So that's like the thing I guess I'm going through and it's just like, it's not hard, it's not difficult, but it's like the acceptance of it, you know, that, you know, it's just, it's just part of the, part of life, right, which I'm embracing. Like I said, I got no problem with aging, if anything, I embrace it, but uh, also you got to learn to embrace with what comes with it. So that's basically it. All right, I got to head to work. Uh, woke up early because of the summertime, uh, we're going, we're starting early to film in his garage before it gets too freaking hot. So, uh, right out. I got my caffeine, got water, good to go. So anyways, thanks for watching, and yeah, <laughs> as always, fucking leave it in the comments you want. Um, I'm enjoying this uh, experience of me just chatting, responding with videos on my YouTube channel. It's really becoming fun, right? So <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thanks, you guys, so leave the comments and the likes, and hey, Jeremy, you, uh, appreciate your comment too, and uh, 
everybody else that have left comments up to this point in my uh, YouTube video making. All right. Thanks. Take care and peace.